Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Phobos. Phobos is a free game on the Steam Store that just released today, officially. It was in uh, early access before or not officially released before. Uh, this is a free game for the HTC Vive. However, you can get it to work on the Oculus Rift. This is on the Unity engine, but it must be an old build because you do have to do a Windows 7 compatibility fix if you're on Windows 10 for Oculus users. So go ahead and do that Windows 7 fix and you can play the game. Otherwise, you'll be below the ground if you don't do that fix. Now, there's three different modes to this game, which you can't tell from the main menu. It doesn't look like you don't know what to do. You're not giving instructions on what to do. If you shoot the girl, you start the story mode. If you shoot this zombie, you start the first wave shooter in the first area. And if you shoot the last zombie, you'll start the wave shooter in the last area. So there's four different areas. So let's do the story mode and we'll see all four areas. It does take a while to load. Uh, this is basically a wave shooter, regardless of whether you do story mode or just the wave shooter part. Um, the graphics are good, but as you can see, there's no locomotion. Uh, the 3D modeling for the zombies is, is, is pretty good as, as well, but the animations are not, the ragdoll physics are pretty bad. The sounds are, are not very good in my opinion. You can't aim down sights. The gun is pretty accurate. However, it has like a severe drop off. So you can only only get those one hit hit shots of those like that. Okay, so I survived the first wave, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, there is a pause in between different environments, different levels. Now we're going to the second stage, second area. And it's just more of the same. Um, I believe it's just a different area of the first area. As you can see, the car is still there. Uh, the zombies are acting like they're stunned by that noise. The ladies do. Okay. So you can see if you aim down sights, it is a lot better, but there is a severe drop off with bullet damage. And there, she's com there she comes. As you can see, the, the animation, her walking animation is very poor. Now the 3D modeling for her is not bad at all. And the environment looks good. Uh, this is a nice looking environment, especially for a free game. Um, the lighting is pretty good. I like the use of the flashlight um, and how you really have to use it to you know, get your good aim on the zombies. So that's a really nice touch. 
this part used to be different in the old game. I remember you were like in the back of a pickup truck, is what I remember. Not a, I, I may be wrong on that. It was so long ago that I played solos first. But I remember a pickup truck. Like you were in the back of a pickup truck and this part went a lot faster, but I like this version better. Oh, I thought he was naked. <laughs> Shirtless zombie. Um, this game does go pack pretty quick. We're almost at the end. One more stage and we're, we're over. It is fun for what it is. You know, if you just accept that it's a free game and not expecting much, it is okay. But obviously there's much better wave shooters. This is not what I would consider a good wave shooter. Or a good shooter, if you don't want to call it a wave shooter. Uh, but it basically is. You're basically just in four areas, and the different waves of zombies come for all four areas. Uh, this is the on rails part of the shooter. And as you can see here, this you're, here's the final stage. Okay, this is a final staging area, and I believe there's a boss here. I know in the wave shooter mode there is a boss for both of the staging areas. Uh, I wish the gun felt better shooting, it, it doesn't really feel good. You only have one weapon. Although there's different skins for the zombies, they just all walk towards you exactly the same. So there, there is really no difference in the enemy type except for the boss. And the boss walks up to you and just has more health and it's bigger. That's really the, the only difference. So it's not much and as you can see there's a little error on this last area where they can walk up to you close to you so you gotta have to keep your eye on that area so you can shoot them really fast. Because you don't want them coming up to you from behind you. Because it can be hard to shoot them up close when they're coming from the next side. And sometimes it does seem like they're bulletproof. Like you saw that one, the bullet drop off. As long as you get a good hit on them. So if you see a zombie far away, you just have to get to start shooting at them, especially if there's other zombies closer by. Those zombies seem to be trapped by the area. And there's a boss on me that I really want to get rid of, but uh oh, oh no. <laughs> As you see, this, this part is bugged. It's way too close. Way too close. I think I'm going to beat him, but... Okay, so I did beat the area, that's it. Uh, it's going to say thank you for playing real soon, but some zombies still come for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know if that's the bug or yep thank you for playing so that's the end of the game uh i'm gonna give this a six out of ten just because it's free if they charge money i would rate it lower but for a free game it's not bad the graphics are nice i just wish the gameplay were, were better but the graphics are nice there's some nice elements here i'm gonna give it a six out of ten positive recommendation because it's free this is fovos i'm gonna put a link on my video where you can download it if you liked it uh go ahead and download it and uh, have a nice day Goodbye.